well. There has been a lot of confusion on whether or not absentee voters need to have a witness signature when they're mailed back in. News 19's Nick Jones spoke with the State Election Commission on what you need to do when you send in your vote. There's been a lot of back and forth on whether you need to get a witness signature or not if you're voting absentee. According to the most recent court order, it is now not required. But it is an ongoing court case. The court could uh, overturn the current ruling. Right now, uh, my recommendation is to go ahead and get the witness signature. Uh, it's really easy to do. A witness can be anyone. Chris Whitmire, the spokesperson for the State Election Commission, says a witness can be any other person. There is no age requirement, and they do not have to be a registered voter or notary. The witness will only need to sign their name and address. If you return a ballot without a witness signature, you're returning it during a time when the uh, witness signature is not required. Our motto is every vote matters, every vote counts, and our inclination is to count every ballot that's uh, returned that we can legally count, uh, and we'll do that unless we're ordered by some authority not to. Whitmire says that the court ruling changes. He doesn't imagine authorities not letting votes already sent in without signatures count. Nick Jones, News 19 WLTX. Anybody who is applying to vote absentee by mail will need to do so by October 24th.